now it's ready to fill with water. So I'll just take this at the seam and fold it up. Take my can of water, pour it in the cup. Again, whatever overfill will leak out. And then when the uh, lantern flies, the dead lantern flies, you want to flush them out, you just simply overflow the cup and they will spill out. Then you take the fabric back down, cover it back up. And there it is, all ready to go. The lantern flies will go up. Up in here, between the cups, up through, and then they'll come to a dead end. They can't go any farther, and then they will jump or fall down into the cups of water and drown. Okay, this is a, a trap that I had installed here for a while. Uh, it has uh, a lot of uh, little nymph lantern flies, the baby ones, they're very small but uh, you'll be able to see the little black spots. So I'm going to uh, lift up the fabric so you can, uh, you can see them. Uh, so there, there they are. There's hundreds of them. Uh, some cups have hundreds of them. This tree has about uh, 25 cups, so each cup it's just filled with these bugs. And there's some live ones you can see. They were underneath the tarp. They were just sitting there waiting to fall into the water. Now you can, you can take these cups out of here if you want. Instead of flushing them out, you can just take them out and empty it out that way. and then put it back in place but it does go faster by flushing them out and you just put the fabric back down now with these traps uh, you're not using any chemicals you're simply drowning the, the bugs in water uh, you're not, you don't have the sticky tape on the tree that catches birds and unwanted animals. Uh, it it uh, only catches insects. It will catch lantern flies and maybe some, some other insects. But uh, it is uh, environmentally friendly.